Mm-hmm. George Foreman ass. Are we hot? We live? <laughs> That's right. Huh? Bracket yeah, up. Yeah. The day we on the Adam and Wax show, but it's the Adam and 600 show. Adam and took his punk ass to Puerto Rico with his wife, and he claimed it was just a vacation. But you never know what Adam when he with his wife. Today, I, hey man, I didn't do this on purpose. Yeah. G West, that kind of represents y'all. Y'all can wear it. Y'all from the <laughs> West Side and y'all gangsters, right? Yeah. So today we got a crazy table right here, and I, I tell people that the politics of Greater LA, when it comes down to the real OGs, right, it makes it a little different. You know what I'm saying? I believe we stronger now than ever. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times we can see cats we walk the yard with, you know what I'm saying? And we remember uh, Buffett with them or whatever we was doing. And in some situations, we was all together when we had to come together. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, but right. I got 600 from Rolling 60s Neighborhood Crip. I got Chin Check. Chin check. <laughs> now, this got one of the coldest names I didn't heard in life. And I got, he from Playboy Gangsters. Nah, I'm from Bear Rock Gangsters. You from what? From Bear Rock Gangsters. Bear Rock. Yeah. Bear Rock Gangsters. Yeah. But, and I'm gonna let you introduce yourself because you a triple OG. Yeah, he right in, he right in there. But no, he we go, is, we about to get educated. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I'm gonna let you introduce yeah. yourself because you a I'm, triple OG. And I'm it. They know me by G Ed, right? G Ed West from? LA. West LA. I represent all of them. You represent the whole the, West LA. All of them. The, the show lines, the school yard. But you predominantly you from you from Playboy. Yes, sir. Well, I never been put on nothing. I walked on and well, I mean, well, you from yeah, a different yeah, area. Yeah, I'm just you know from a different just, area. You I represent Playboy. To be clear, man. So is Bear Rock? Are y'all close to Playboys? Yeah, yeah we in, they on back same hood. Oh, same thing. Okay, yeah, I got it. now as y'all know I'm from Paul Root, right? So. Once upon a time, this whole table, everybody been fighting, killing each other, yes, right? Sir. You got gangster car, neighborhood car, pine root car. But today we coming together so we can clear the record. My man Chin Check, oh, man, I know my name gangsters, <laughs> my man. My man Chin Check, um, yeah. he was mentioned in the Big Sad Diss song. Mm-hmm. Oh, he was mentioned. I didn't know that. Now the other day, D.W. and uh, Brick Baby. Sat down with him, and he was spitting on him. So what I did, I sent the paperwork to Adam. Adam distributed, and DW got a little upset because he felt like it was funny. Right. Because he brought a bunch of paperwork that was like appealing paperwork. He didn't give him all. Right. So that's when DW doubled back him and Brick Baby, and like they had to, they had to stand on their cripping, like telling, telling. You know how that go? We didn't been in situations, you know that, to where they've been our loved ones. They've been. Our our partner, we've been on the yard, we've been in the county, and we reading what we reading, and we got memories of a nobody to say in our life, us getting money together. You might be a dated his sister or whatever, but when it comes down to the politics, the politics is the politics, right? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. So nevertheless, mm-hmm. me and T Money from Mansfield, um, we presented to work, um, the clear case was name. Talked to Case was today, he in great spirits, he on his way home. And um and then uh, I think you and T Money have a relationship, yes, right? So T Money contacted me. He said, "He said, whack, you know, you from Paul Root, six hundred from sixties. I'm from Mansfield. Uh, it's only right that a Playboy get a chance to speak and have a voice, because we can't none of us speak for y'all. We were just speaking against the telling, and it didn't matter what it had been from. He just happened to. That's what he represented. There you you know, I don't discriminate. Mm-hmm. I don't give a." Where you from? We've been frying up big you ass. Nigga, that that paperwork coming you know. this week. Shout out to Eddie Boy on some other. We don't give a f- what it is. Yeah, right? So at the end of the day, Chin Check, um, that you said you had a run in already. Yeah, with. man. I guess he didn't like how I reacted to the paperwork. So he he go and make a diss song like I rap. You feel me? I ain't no rapper. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So you said something on, online or something? Yeah, about the 1900s. Just, you know, it's a program. Ain't nobody bigger than the program. There's rules to this. People thinking this rap is bigger than rap. You feel me? This is in these streets. So that's why I came at it with it. And it got back to him. By him responding to a song, let me know where his head at. You feel me? I ain't no rapper. You so you me? and him got into a prop before, though, on some record? No, I ain't never hated on him. No, I know him from, I know the real big side. You feel me? I know him from way back when he first turned. He, he wait, wait, from wait, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. He ain't hold no on. original PBT. Wait, wait, baby. what you mean first turn? 
He turned PBG from BY. By yourself. By yourself. Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I had a fight in Silmar Juvenile Hall. You remember the halls, right? Yeah. It's like 90. <clears throat> I might have been 13. Yeah. Now, this is back where you still got schoolyards running around, but you still got some niggas talking about Bible crib. Yeah. Some of y'all watching, y'all, this is going to be above y'all pay grade. And I remember a dude coming in, and I said, yo, homie, where you from? That nigga said, buy yourself crib. I said, stop playing with me. Where you from? Because I never heard of shit like right. that, right? But looking at it now, that been 34 years ago. Yeah. That been around, yeah, but I remember. Yeah. I only met oh, one yeah. cat. Oh, yeah. One cat. Did you know that uh, school yards originally was Bible Crips? Oh, you ever yeah. heard of Bible Crip? My cousin's school. Tell him it was a such thing as Bible yeah. Crip. For real, right? That shit was real, some real genius. Right, yeah. so you saying he was from by yourself? Yeah, that's really all that West. The, the, that's everything. all West LA. We all one city. We're a city of trades. Got gotcha. you. Know? But it goes like this, bro. And we are gonna separate the uh, hip hop from the history. Have to, cause that's right. the problem right there. I ain't gonna knock the boy, cause I think he need a hug. I think mental health fuck with him, because he disrespecting everybody. He disrespecting family. The Mansfield mm -hmm. family. The show line's fine. Marvin's fine. He dissing everybody. Oh, he did a song dissing the whole West Side? Man. He going nah, to get home did. court. Yeah, he whatever going, it huh? takes. He whatever going to get home court. Yeah, but he whatever going it takes. He going to dissing the dead and everybody. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And that's the only reason I'm here. We don't condone that. We don't. The dead, let them rest in peace. We got homies that he's trying to be the face of. That's in the cemetery. You can't. You got to separate history from hip hop. Y'all asking us, is it snitching? In hip hop, probably not. In history? Oh, that's telling. Right. You know, anytime you question a nigga from back in the day is offended at his ass snitching. It's in the video, me and that nigga ain't talk. Right. G code. <laughs> it's the straight G code. That shit ain't changed. Yeah, they, they start reading. Yo, was it eat McDonald's or a cookie in that motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> I never like. That shit like one of my old school first 48 ones where they give me the, the, the cigarettes. So you was. Had some, you had conversation with him, 600. Listen, you remember when you first dropped a little snippet? Yeah, 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 yeah. I came on Clubhouse with y'all that night. I'm like, man, that's crazy, man. Big side of rap, man. He was uh kind of holding the crown over there. You didn't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it, but I'm like, it is what it is, right? I'm like, damn, that's crazy. You know how they take the little clips, they put on the, the clickbait. Whack 100, 600 called Big Side of Rat. And he bit. He DM'd me next day. Man, y'all trying to tell young brother down, man. What do I said, nah, bro. I ain't never called you a rat because I ain't seen the paperwork. No, yeah, you wouldn't, but you what wouldn't I, say nothing until I tell you. Right. But it. what I said was, I said, if that's true, that's fucked up because who was rooting for you? And yeah, I just fuck real. about yeah. in the gang of rooms that you don't even know about. Who's the nigga went crazy on me? He called me. Who? Did you see him on this? He went crazy on me. He Who? from Playboys. The dude, remember he went crazy on me. He was like, whack, whoop de whoop. You speaking on the Playboy, he called me. I said, bro, I spoke on Big Zad. I didn't speak on the Playboy. You just happened to be from where you from, bro. But he told me, no, Wack, not for nothing. He think he was a little older. He said, Wack, if that paperwork come back like that, I got to I gotta stand with what's right. Yeah, and then when they hit me, they was like, Jesus condoning that and talking about he good and this, that, and that. Yeah, he did say all his homies was what yeah, he, he said. He said that. that. That's, that's cap. In hip-hop, probably. <laughs> yeah, you know what cap. I'm saying? But, like, I'm in my homies in my hood right like, now. We Outside. We don't even that have a hood, come homie. around. Right. Y'all don't see him here with a group of... Hold on, hold on. You feel me? Like, see, he finna keep it real. We don't have a hood, He's about homie. to say some I be telling people... We don't have a hood, homie. We raising our kids and our grandkids. We trying to get an equity and wellness fund for the community. Joe's Market, yeah. that man can't make a dollar. Nigga, you going against the community. Why you know he can't make a dollar? Because it's a hot spot? It's a hot... He, he keeps shooting them videos there. And it'll be I'm okay if you're doing something for the community, then the community could rule for you. Also, he's shooting the videos there, so now everybody think that's the spot to catch the yeah. Playboys. He ain't never oh, yeah. Yeah. When, But he man, ain't never there, though. Then, yeah, for what? But, but, but the regular <laughs> homies is going through there getting caught right. on some bullshit, so now it's a hot spot. No, them is innocent civilians, man, trying to live their life. That's a community, bro. So innocent, Yeah, innocent people getting shot. Yeah, because he's shooting videos over there, don't give a... I seen him passing turkeys out. In somebody else's hood. <laughs> nah, you capping. Come on, bro. Chin check. What is this?
talking about right now. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> man, so he ain't do ain't that over there. Nah, 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 yeah, nah. No. But that that may be how they do it in hip hop. You know what I'm nah, saying? What I had you three mean doing in hip hop? Hip, when wait, I say, no, wait, wait, let me correct. There's no neighborhood called hip hop. If you coming into the game and you using your neighborhood you right, as a foundation, logos. you can't use them logos. Whether you from '60s, whether you dumb, it don't matter. You can't use them logos. That's why you say 1900. You're trying to separate that. So what does 1900, 1900 represent? That's West LA. That's our address in the set. Yeah, okay. see, I don't know nothing about that. They got me up out of bed with this. Shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm kicking back. That's like his block. I'm kicking back. Yeah, like you know, you know when, yeah, yeah, you know when you got the, the right. yeah, yeah. But we ain't got no that. Yeah, it used to. So be. the young homies is tripping. But who with somebody? Yeah, every end of us, it's just a collective. You feel me? He ain't good, man. He ain't been around to even know if he good or not. Oh, you feel hey, me? Hey, man, I'm gonna keep it 100, man. I gotta say this shit because. This nigga name keep fucking ring. It, you know, I've never hated on no, but I'm not a hater, right? I congratulate niggas. Well, you know that's 600. Right. Nigga winning, I congratulate you, right? I'm yeah. gonna focus on my own race. But I gotta tell this story. There's one crib I hated on this nigga, man. Who was it? So we had Fred C. Nellis. And nigga come in. The nigga had the, 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 the Tommy Hearns bill, you know? <laughs> He wasn't bulked up. He was just cut up. The nigga had all the tattoos. We young, like 14, 15. He got all the tattoos. This nigga tatted up like he didn't been to the joint already, right? Swear to God. And the nigga had the, the long hair. And, you know, he had his little swagger up, like, on some motherfucking iceberg slim shit. And I say, hey, homie, what's happening, homie? Where you from? We, we in Nellis, Gladiator yeah. School. You from, nigga? <laughs> right? That nigga say, insane crip gang. Right? I said, all right. I said, all right. What they call you, homie? When that nigga told me his name, I hit it on the nigga. What's that name? nigga said, kryptonite. Oh, that's all. I said, on Paru, we got to get out. That's all. Yeah, 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 it yeah, was yeah, listen, yeah, yeah. I ain't going to lie. It wasn't even about the kryptonite name. It was like everything else was so when it came to being yeah. the perfect image of a of a of a gangster, right? right. How do you walk away from that? And right, and then the nigga, <laughs> the nigga put the, the the icing on the cake and said, "My name is Kryptonite." I said, "Oh, nigga, we got to get out." No, I'm from Pacoima, and I, you know I f with my Long Beach niggas, right? I f my Long Beach niggas too. That them my partners over there, right? Shout out Big Fave, Two Three D W, Innocent Blue, all of them, right? But I thought about it. I said, man, this is too. It's everything was. And then he had the bell. You know, back in the day, the bells was a thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The coldest bell in blood I ever seen was a nigga named Freeze from Swan. All the OGs, y'all know what I'm talking about. This yeah. nigga walked in levels and can brought it back down. Yeah. Right. But you the, now I'm 46. I was about 15, 14 in. Mm -hmm. Nigga, your name? <laughs> come with a lot. <laughs> your name? Lot. <laughs> yeah. they, got a check. they got a chance check. everything. Listen, come through that I done got a broom. Wait a minute. Why is it where? Now move. Some old big old crib nigga up there, nigga named Chin Check. We finna rush that nigga. Everybody put their shoes on. Because <laughs> you got a big old nigga named Chin Check. He got the name for a motherfucker. Reason, right? Yeah. And you don't want to be the first one. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. It's, it's a solid yeah. one. Huh? Yeah, it's a solid. Don't let him drop something in that mother. So, oh, my solid, God. Bro. Yo, so wait. Was that your name out the gate, or did you have another name and they you they earned won. that name? They won. Who the f? Which one of your G homies' name you chit check? It was uh, my big homie after I uh, squabbled and they seen the squabble or heard about the squabble. Uh huh. I started banging probably like in 2002, 2003. That's uh -huh. when I started. That's 20-something. You ain't number 32, nigga. That yeah. makes sense. Day one. Yeah. Day one. You know, we started in the Playboy, so. Uh -huh. Having, doing that, you know, OGs come home doing 11 years. Like, y'all from where? Like, you know, I didn't squabble in middle school. Getting dope fiend by OGs, but you know, you have to earn this shit. Because you was a big old nigga, nigga. It's that name. That name is disrespectful. OGs don't hear that shit in this yeah, name. Yeah, <laughs> Chin Check. Y'all starting weird, but you know. 
So, we, so we, we, we grew up to become family, you feel me? So what did he say about you in this diss song? <laughs> that nigga said some shit like, so, chin check, don't get chin check with this Mac 9. Ooh. Or some uh, shit like He that told you he ain't doing no fight. Talk come on, man, he couldn't do no fight if he wanted to. He can't come where we at. He can't so you come saying he can't to, come to the play, to, man, to the Playboys no more? I'm at it. So what if he pull up with his homies, though? That's what he saying. He got a bunch of them outside. I see his homies that with him. His homies see me, I'm outside, you feel me? But so he's they don't, not going to pull up to nothing I got to do with what we repping. So is he is you he causing, me on the internet with it? That's why he did. He going. Why he disrespecting he, your own homies? Is he causing Trade. separation? There you yeah, go. Of course. So he got a crew. We, we 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 together. Our whole the whole G card of L A was together. You feel me? And that nigga come in dissing the home court like it's greasy. Like we ain't got no chain to come in. Like it's no authority. He making us look weak. As just a community, as a whole, or whatever we represent is is he toxic. That's what it mm -hmm. is. You feel me? Because we don't need that type. of that guy is going out our own. We just was all for you. I know the right. real him, but when he was popping, actually, Streets ain't never said nothing about him negative. Well, we got to ask his question, though, bro. Me. We got to ask his question. Because he was pretty adamant about my homies been knowing about the paperwork. You said this, that. See, and that's what I want to clear right now. This is my first time ever hearing it. Even him bringing up the set before his worst enemy, like the show lines. It's like, why are you speaking on the set and shooting an investigation that don't have nothing to do with us? And you claiming you know who did it, why are we even a part of that? You feel me? It's a whole lot of shit people don't understand. Like, after that, like, police hit the set. Hit the set like a motherfucker. It's, it's consequences that came with his words, and he trying to blow it off like it wasn't. Mm. That's where it's not cool at, like, because there's consequences to the niggas that's outside. So what about the dudes that's, that's hanging with him? Think they knew about the work? Uh, I don't know, honestly. Well, you feel me? I think I heard uh, a homie say they. Well, they first of all they got two hung juries. You got to fight that cop. Yeah, that so, nigga stayed in the county for ten, eleven years. Yeah. So when you saying it took. 14 oh yeah, you were out about that, that paperwork. That only yeah, been it's fresh. Take fourteen years, right. nigga. Whatever it, it only been come fresh. Under that capital punishment. Yeah, he know? only the it paperwork only been. I, see, when I asked T Money and I asked K Swiss, I said, "Yo, just today." I said, "Swiss, let me ask you something. Why he didn't let my know?" He said, "Whack." I'm thinking proactive. I'm being cool with the nigga so he can come back and recant the story. And there's some more paperwork, Big Sad. You may want to chill out because you're claiming you didn't give a statement. But you took the stand again and attempted to recant the story, your statement. You only can recant something that you've already given. Right. Right? So it was two witnesses, uh, three one nigga from Mansfield, Cecil the Weasel, Big Sad, and it was a female who they ruled to be incompetent because she was bipolar, schizophrenic. Mm. So the two they had was Big Sad and Cecil from Mansfield, right? Um, Cecil give them all the, the niggas go to the gun range, all this shit. Big Sad give them the description of the, car, the shooter's car. Right. Right? So... You know, the whole thing about it is, and you're right, whatever you doing um, on the entertainment side, continue to do. And I'm going to speak on it, 600. People say, well, why, why do you do this? Listen, bro. But I seen you throwing them things, too, though. Oh, yeah. I, first of all, nigga, listen. Let, hold on. Let me give you something. It's different no, when a nigga. fuck all that because see, you different. ain't finna sit it's here. Different. You ain't finna sit here and act like all you crip niggas out there. I thank y'all. We going back to 88, 89, uh, all the way up to the 90, from 88 to 99, yeah. right? And I got G homies before me, which was probably doing it with you. See, today, it's in style to be a blood. Me and you both know. We was out number five, six to one. <laughs> you had to be damn near out your mother mind to let that come out your mouth. So the ones that stood solid, I'm going to be real. The Damus that stood solid was the ones that had more chance at surviving. Not because we were super hard and super tough. Mm. It's because you had some real crips that would say, nigga, that nigga got out. He been squabbing for the last two months. Y'all niggas bag up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? And yeah. that's real shit, yeah. right? That's how you big fish. Mm -hmm. I caught the chain. They picked me up from Central Juvenile Hall, bro, and took me to Delano off Cecil Avenue. 
Your homie Big Fish. Mm -hmm. I was the only Don Mooney tank. I'm 16. They sent me to the joint. 16. Everybody asked where they from. I banged my. You got three, four niggas, the famous, we got us one. Mm -hmm. Big Fish <laughs> jump up, be like, nah, nigga. Half you niggas wouldn't even claim Joe said if the numbers yeah. would have been reversed. Y'all ain't for the, he said, which one of y'all gonna get this big old youngster head up and risk getting knocked out, nigga, and we taking it to the yard? <laughs> but it's gonna be a head up. Yeah. Big Fish did. The Big Fish would have did that, they'd have packed me out. Right. So, you know, I tell niggas, but been a lot of love extended. That's just from real niggas like saying, like, nigga, that could have been me or would have been me. And the mm -hmm. same thing has happened in return. Right. But I heard you, know you say some other shit, man, that you got to put emphasis on. It's okay for a tribe to die out, like the Panther Party. You feel what I'm saying? That's real. And that's the same thing with the logo. So when it die out, we could do documentaries, something positive to do, get these workshop mechanic shots. We ain't even got a Coca-Cola machine from this nigga. How we going to root for some nigga that ain't for the, for the community? It ain't about the hood because we don't have a hood. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? I tell so a lot of educate that. these kids, bro. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I, I see. And look, for those of y'all out there who hear an OG saying we don't have a hood, he's not saying he ain't got, there's not an area or a section where his homeboys right. be. He's saying his mindset is community, right? He don't like the word hood because that represents the dope dealing, the, the killing, bullshit. the bullshit, right? So he's building, and his mind is, we want to build this as a community and bring it all together. And that's why um, Chin Check is a little bothered because he's saying whatever this song that Big Sad did dissed a lot of people that had came together. A lot of people that back in the day took a lot of your generation and your generations you and the younger generations to say we're going to stop the bullshit and come together. So you got one cat that's not solidified as that and it turned out to be a rat Right? Antagonizing and going to the liquor stores like this where niggas at, but he ain't there. But now innocent people from the community is getting violated because you given a perception that this where niggas is at. Right? But you somewhere. Because they tell me the nigga be in Sacramento and Vegas and shit. He be all over. And I ain't got nothing wrong with a nigga getting his money, but just leave the community out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We ain't supporting that shit. The nigga running around acting like he mad at niggas because he told. I mean, shit, you said this shit a long time ago, right? Nigga mad at niggas. I don't know how to read the work. Yeah. The <laughs> niggas they do, though. At, they make mad at niggas. Nigga, you the one told. Yeah. You told. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Nigga, nigga block your Instagram. They ain't mad at the nigga that told. He, he giving <laughs> a shout out to his homie in the song and dissing him. It's like, hold that, on, that, bro. Wait, wait hold on. Mindset. Hold on, wait. say, fuck Pete Trey. Like, come on. He, he gave snap. the nigga a shout out. In all the song, my nigga P. Trey, then he go against the grain when his car get pulled. That sucker shit to me. Yeah. So he yeah. been giving yeah. P. Yeah. Trey a shout out for a minute. Yeah. Well, and now he dissed him. Plenty of songs. Just yeah. you know, he giving yeah. up for the homies. So yeah. now he dissed him. Why yeah. he dissed him? Because he got, his car got pulled with the snitch shit. So is P. Trey resting or he here? He resting. Homie resting. Okay, well, okay, He's why, from Playboy. That's but why would he diss P. Trey? You got to think of a sucker's mindset. I don't know because I don't have that mindset. <laughs> well, P. Trey don't even know what the fuck we doing. Right, P. Trey don't, don't, don't even know he's a snitch. I don't know that mindset, you feel me? But everybody got their consequences to their word in this in this lifestyle we live, you feel me? It's only so long you can portray this shit on the internet. Yeah, that's real. Um, my homeboy, my deuce from Devil Lane, told me today. He said, whack, the coldest threat in the streets today is the truth. Mm. Fuck me up. And me and this <laughs> nigga go back to 12 years old. Bro. That nigga said, whack, yeah. the coldest threat in the streets today that a street nigga fears is the truth. Mm -hmm. He said, because a lot of these niggas' truth, if it come out, they're Bro. no longer what people mm -hmm. think they are. And we you dealing with Bro. some shit in your neck of the woods. I got my whole hood mad at me. <laughs> well, not all of them. <laughs> well, not all of them, but, you know, a good percentage. Yeah. And it's like, all I'm doing is, is just exposing what's right. I'm not putting out false accusations. I ain't lying exactly. on nobody, trying to smother nobody. Nigga, use a rat. The you paperwork is that. The paperwork is the paperwork. And everything else I do, I'm putting out stuff that, this man, and to be clarified, we're talking about Big U, Big U's a rat. So I'm talking about stuff that he say out of his own mouth that makes him a rat, a rat lover, and a sex offender lover. So they mad at me because I can see what the man doing. They can't see the right on the wall. Hey, yo, man, I woke up this morning, 
And this crazy motherfucker, Lil Rose, yeah. the nigga had a tent pitched in front of my house, bro. <laughs> Yo, y'all get mad at Wack talking about Wack, Wack <laughs> making the can't no nigga make the sixties do nothing. <laughs> now, nigga, I'm trying to save the sixties. Because it's a motherfucker over there that's what they that don't even understand. had me fooled. That's what they don't understand. This is a fact. The stuff that we doing is trying to prevent this nigga from getting close to niggas, that's setting it. niggas up, lying on them, snitches on them, tipping shit off. If, if everybody yeah. exposed the rats, we saving the street niggas. I'm not, saying, I'm street. not saying run him out because he does do the, 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 the Pop Warner football league. That's cool. Um, he does the, the graffiti removal, you know, the... the, the uh, Back to school shit. He does that. Yeah, he worked for LAPD right? too. He worked, yeah, but yeah. but that's part of that. And that's a great thing if right. he's standing in that lane. Yeah, that's cool. Right. That's but to all y'all that's, you know, still kind of like doing what you do, we just giving y'all heads up, bro. So when y'all ass taking them seven steps from that goddamn little table to that door, <laughs> right, we tried to tell you. <laughs> now I'm sitting here looking at this public notice. Yes, sir. Okay. And it ran. Equity and Wellness Fund for Families and Victims of Mass Incarceration following President set in AB 2218. So is that a, a penal code or something? That's a bill that uh, Governor Newsom passed for the transgender community, giving them uh, affordable uh, housing, health care, the basic fundamentals, right? So, like you said, it's present. It was historical. It's 13 million with a 75 million surplus. But we don't have representatives in our community that's asking for the same thing for us in no shape, form, or fashion. So, but, you figure like people in the hood should be eligible for the same thing that the, um, was it transgenders or was it just the community at all? No, see, the transgenders seen uh, chaos. So, they separated themselves from the bullshit from the politics and all that, and they focused on community and humanity, right? So they may say, oh, the trans, hey, 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 everybody got to live, you know what I'm saying? So you take a page out of what's precedent, mm -hmm. and you do this for families of victims of mass incarceration because all the bills was unconstitutional. Mm -hmm. They sentenced us up under the AEDPA of 1996. So that's a terrorist bill, you know what I'm saying? We kids in the community. I was 24 when I went, 44. That's a dub. I do 18 off of that shit. Gotcha. So it's like, and they and they don't want to get a reps, but they're giving it to these community-based organizations that ain't doing shit in the community. So you know that neighborhood white sign, and you got enough influence to pull this shit off. That uh -huh. neighborhood white sign. Who, yeah. Who getting that money? Let's replace that with a live body, bro. Them live community-based organizations and put that equity and wellness fund right there. So I'm proposing $5 billion for 30 years to start up this equity and wellness fund. For the grandmas and families of victims of mass incarceration. If mama sent twenty dollars up there, travel to that, you you affected the whole dynamics of the family structure. So mm -hmm. this ADPA bill dismantled the family structure. Took all the five twenty years. I got convicted of a conspiracy with no co defendants. It was fugitives. Damn. I took a ninety day speedy trial in the feds. They're like, man, don't do that. Man, tell on them. What's wrong with these niggas? I was confused then. Like, 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 like who told up. you to tell? All the Damn. niggas up in there, bro. The only really? niggas that stayed down was PT and Salt from Minga Wood family, man. And that's who I rolled with up in that bitch. Because they were the only ones that was, it probably was a few more, but the odds was against us. That's when I knew the game took a turn. You know what I'm saying? We ended up in the hole going at it with the police. So when they say, and this is what I want to touch on too. Oh man, should no dime who be putting the work out on the I wouldn't give a fuck if it come from the Martians, nigga. If a nigga hot. <laughs> yeah, this ain't yeah. Nigga, yeah, land listen, that. Listen. Land so that. what you saying is this, right? I'm I'm finna we finna call him on this shit. If a crip come hand me paperwork on my people, this crip could have said, fuck all them niggas. Let them all them niggas continue to get told on. So by the crip bringing me to work, they enlightening me so I can save my people. Right. So if I didn't give a fuck, I wouldn't have said nothing. Right? I ain't never had a fight, a shootout, a beef with a Playboy gangster crib. Yeah, no, we gentlemen. Man. Ever, ever in life. Yeah. So it ain't like I got some intentions. What did he say? He said something about... Uh, but Blueface is signed to whack and Blueface is cool. Oh, schoolyard. he's trying to tie it in for that. The politics, bro. First of all, let's get one thing straight. Yeah, that's hip hop. Whack is still from Paul Rue. So the fact that I signed 
A little nigga that was running around here talking about he the famous crip. <laughs> this nigga, you think I didn't catch flack from that shit on my side? Bro. But you know what I told everybody? I said, listen, right now, he's the best man for the job. I'm not going to take this um, situation away from him. Mm -hmm. That could change his life and his family's life because he's a crip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he the best man for the job, but no. Yeah. That didn't matter. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just real it. shit. Like, yeah, that didn't. Land he, land thinks land somebody, he, he thinks somebody against him. Well, he fell to realize that the we West Coast. The code. Right. The West Coast been kind of like lacking. So, anybody who get a shot, we all root for you. Yeah. No matter where you from. That's real. That's right. Um, That's so, no matter right. which side you from, blood, crew, whatever. We all hoping somebody can go because that'll lead, open the door for other people. That's how it works. Like I said, I done talk, spoke the man's name in numerous rooms. I never met him or nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, when, you, when they called me, I didn't know who the fuck he was. Yeah. Because I be doing so much right. shit. Unless it crossed my table. I don't, you know, unless my artist say, hey, right. whack, can you give me a feature with uh, this, you know, then I'd be like, well, who was that? Then I'll go look him up and usually have my daughter send me everything on him. <clears throat> and then I'll go reach out and see if we do the business. But, you know, I ain't had nothing against him. And I, the nigga mad at me because I know how to read. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. You know, he got an issue because you mentioned his name and you representing that 1900. I didn't his name. I just speak on 1900 because I was born and raised on the 1900 side on Bedford Street. Okay. I moved there in 94. See, I'm so going I'm with all this shit. Side. I'm going gotcha. with all this shit. I come back, all boys to the side, I had a couple homies. You left what year? 96. 96. I you did. 96, 20? 18. 18. So yeah. you come back over. Oh, oh, 13. 13. 13. 13. And, uh, the homies basically, a couple of them, maybe nose, low sleep, because they was there when motherfucker was doing whatever motherfucker was doing. And they apologized for the condition that the hood was in. I mean, we still don't have a Coca-Cola machine over there. No laundry mats, no Publix, nothing. How you the face of us and we in poverty, my nigga? And you talking about old niggas. Some old niggas still squabble. Y'all y'all get on the car. I tell niggas, niggas that all day. Nigga, this, yeah. old, this old nigga beat your ass, nigga. I, I tell niggas that all the yeah, time. but I ain't on I that. challenge five of you young niggas. <laughs> <laughs> With five of us old niggas. <laughs> any day. Any motherfucking day. What day, 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 we fight yeah. different, nigga. Because we got to get home. We got to get niggas. home. Nigga, we ain't playing with you. That's how I grew up squabbling old niggas. But see, I will say this, right? Because I hear him, but I can hear what they say. What nigga like... Just because I'm on, you expect me to open up the laundry mat? What do you expect we me to do? We ain't never asking for shit. But I'm going to be real. And this probably need to change in all neighborhoods. Maybe it should be some expectations overall demanded. There you that's go. mandated for a nigga's neighborhood if you're utilizing that neighborhood the logo, nigga. as... The face of which of your, your strip pad. or yeah. your launching pad. That's yeah. real. Yeah. And, and and maybe it should be. And like, you yeah. know what? I've I've never had this conversation. It's always niggas that come together and they like, well, I fuck with this dude and this dude for my neighborhood and that's it. But that's really not doing nothing for the neighborhood. That's doing something for a uh, individual. Self so I, I think but in, in, in defense of a sad, um, <laughs> That nigga's starting <laughs> beef. What should it be over here? Okay. Hold on. I get what you're saying. But in defensive side, what 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 would be the demands? What what would be fair to a rapper? Uh, up, now we got levels to this shit. We got the up and coming rappers. Mm -hmm. and a lot of you niggas hear a song on the radio and think a nigga didn't made it. It costs money to do that too. That that's costs a, money, that's right? I was getting to my, uh, what I was gonna say. Right. But and then you got people that Get to the game levels and the yay levels and the, you know, Jay-Z levels. Realistically, when it comes to the hood, and I'm totally against you asking any of these young men that's rapping to participate in financing anything illegal because that right. totally puts them in the trick bag. Right. That's right. We seen what that did with 6 9 That's how he get caught right. up. Right. Yeah. What would be some of the things that you feel – a guy that came in, he like, yeah, nigga, I'm from here, and his homies are standing behind him, and you know that's his that's his strip, and people are like, yo, he's certified, they with him, and he makes it in his own. Let's say a dude that that makes a so million dollars a year. Man? What 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 would be fair demands 
from a neighborhood when it comes to that artist. Okay. That's simple. Leave the logo alone. No, he's pushing it. He's saying, okay, what is it? He's pushing something that he has no authority to push. We no, but let's say. Cemetery. We have niggas in a cemetery over this shit. Hold on. We know that. Doing life about shit they didn't do. Well, I'm asking you. If he comes in and like, look, nigga, I want, I need the hood to stand with me. I've been from the hood. This is what I got going on, right? And this is what I'm bringing in. What would the hood say? Not an individual, yeah. not a Debo nigga. Yeah. What would the hood say would be a, a, a fair exchange for what you would expect that rapper to do for the hood? Open up a youth vocational training center. 24 hours. We got niggas coming home from the pen don't even know they homeless because they've, they've been gone so long, right? So if you're going to use this logo to launch your career and you ain't going to give nothing back, if you're going to cause chaos in the community, you ain't going to give nothing back, if you're going to disrespect my family, which is the show lines, the schoolyards, the Mansfields, the Marvins, the Damus, because everybody related, niggas say they ain't, but we all family. And it's 2024. You trying to live the 70s, 80s, and 90s in 2024. He wasn't even around back then. And then you got to remember, 92, that's the truth. We honor that. You know what I'm saying? I was I was, I was, was locked up for the riots and all that I shit. I definitely was, too. The niggas in jail, man, we were so glad that that shit happened because, like you say, niggas was finally shaking hands, kissing the babies. But listen, no, so, but listen it's no, all about not, community with me. still not giving them something because... He ain't got to lead a logo. He's a alone. rapper. No, he, look. He represents yeah. something look, that the community He's a rapper. Has. You yeah. can't expect a rapper to go develop something and say this is a community. Y'all got to do the footwork and have these things in place and say, yo. We don't want nothing from him, homie. This That's takes, the whole thing. We don't want nothing but, from but him. But you can't, you can't expect the rapper to build that. I think personally. If you're going to do anything, do, anything, do anything, do it for the youth. We not asking I for shit. I think personally, right. every neighborhood. And we all got clean homies in every neighborhood that's working and shit like that. Every neighborhood should have its own corporation. There you go. There you Playboy go. Playboy LLC. There you go. There you see. Neighborhood you LLC, go. right? Yeah, you and I'm going to tell you, this is just me, freestyling. And we got to talk about them homies that's in jail fighting shit, didn't do nothing. There you Cause go. Because we got some niggas that deserve to be in jail. <laughs> Free you G-Man. Fucking, <laughs> Free hey, G-Man. Yo, Free you spike. fucking with kids, <laughs> yeah, elderly right. abuse, yeah. you taking some pussy, your you punk ass go. deserve to be in jail. <laughs> but we still got some cats in there who's right. in there, you know, and shouldn't be, yeah. or in there for respectable reasons, right? And I feel like... You know, if a nigga make it, and this overall the neighborhood of niggas that is making it, money should be put into that LLC, that court. Y'all have a table that everybody monitors, so ain't no bullshit. It should take at least three signatures for shit to even be released. Mm. So that way, when, you know, the homie that was out here 10 years, you look up, and he locked down, and he didn't exhaust his money, and he called and say, yo, bro, you know, my kids need some school clothes. Mm. You go to the books and say, shit, the time he was out here, the homie put in 150000 mm-hmm. over them years, right? Mm-hmm. I, I really think that, you know, he should be approved to, for the committee to, you know, go. to go yeah. and, and handle that. That's right. Or, That's right. you know, bail or, yeah. and, or, because you got some homies go to jail, they got a job, right? Mm-hmm. And a nigga just happened to be drunk or something in the back seat, he wake up, he in cuffs, Right. So I think something like that could could definitely happen. I know I got a few homeboys that I would trust to oversee that, and maybe this conversation right now is going to be the start of something. I because so, you man. cannot yeah. expect the rappers to be the ones to get on through rap music and start making money doing shows and then say, how do I open up a youth center? They ain't gonna know how to do it, right. but so if y'all you, got that. So what do you? Yeah. So, but so what do you say to the niggas around them about that? But like I said, we don't want nothing but peace over there. So we don't need that stigma associated with what we got going already. And this is all positive. So he's talking about something totally different. You know he's talking saying? about the this diss all song. Positive. Right. You feel me? Yeah. You talking about the diss song? But what I'm saying is, you got some rappers. Let's say like, okay, I'm gonna speak on it. Nipsey Hussle's a prime example that he was doing it. Mm-hmm. He was doing it not realizing what he was doing, right? But he had substance, though. No, he he got on, and, and look, for the record, Nip wasn't no A-B-list fucking artist. Yeah. 
he was doing shit. He had a message. He was doing shit yeah. that an A B list artist uh, took the top of bread to do. He had a whole that whole motherfucking oh, yeah, shopping hustler. center. Yeah, oh, he's yeah, a yeah. Sure, hustler, right? Sure. Right. So, right, and 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 Nip wasn't just he had a team, but his team like touched a lot of that area. So it wasn't just like two, three cats. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I feel so what I I'm saying you. is, and this in defense of the rappers, because if I was a rapper and nigga, I knew how to rap, because these niggas like the weird how I look, uh, mm -hmm. my flow. But nigga, I don't know how to open up a corporation. But you know, nigga, I got a million dollar deal. Hey, look, bro. Um, but I do. We man. moving to do this and we moving to do that, and we short. Uh, we showed a hundred. Can you put something in on that towards that? And this is the movement on that. Right, and I would go as far as even allowing his management team to see that, to paper that, because if he's donating that, he should be able to write that off on his side. Just doing the business, I'm with that, but I'm not, I'm not with putting everything on the rapper to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. His job as an artist is his image, whether him or anybody else, any rapper. But yeah, anybody. It's to make it look more than what it is. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you can't have these 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 crazy expectations. If he really ain't got like that. But all y'all gonna see is, you know, the million dollars, the Rolls Royces, you know what I'm saying, the big dot Rolex, right? You know but what you I know, see? A pipe dream. No, no, I mean, I'm, I mean it is what it is, though, but yeah. that's his job to really in what he's really job. in. Yeah. So you can't hold him accountable for, for his image. I have to if you're doing it at who expense. Okay, hold on. And you're doing it at the expense of history. <laughs> Let so me come my back thing to that. Is the logo. The Let logo. Let me come back to that. Let's say, chin check, he representing the logo. He ain't dissing the community, right? He got to present himself a certain way. He may be presenting like he a ten million dollar nigga, but he got a hundred thousand. But in order to get to the ten million, he got to do this, right? And a nigga tell you, look, bro, I'm sitting on a hundred of these my bills. You know, well, you know, what is it I could do? What else has y'all got set up? And a nigga might tell you right now, I can spare five ten towards that. Right, and then you look up six months from now, you get another hit. He do some more shit. He land a deal for two million because of his persona of the Rolls Royces and the jury that might not test out with a real diamond reader. <laughs> it's real shit, mm -hmm. right? It's a so now he gets yeah. to the two million, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and I think it should get to a point to where it's so fucking transparent. <clears throat> the rappers that's banging. Should know everything going on in the neighborhood. All right, the homies is trying to do this project. They show 200. They try to do this. This is for the fun to help the homies' kids. They show, you know, 15,000. And whoop, the nigga can say, all right, look, bro, I just signed a deal. I'm going to put in 10 towards that project. I'm going to put in this 7,500. I'm going to zero that out for what y'all doing with the homies. And boom, boom, boom. Right? And, and at that point, it can't be every other day they calling this man, bro. No, oh, mm -hmm. and see from the dribble. Hey, y'all can't do that. Nah, from, we yeah. have no expectation from, the, from him. From the dribble, all money ain't good money with me, man. You know what I mean? See, well, y'all got that's on y'all to stop yeah, it before it start you then. There you exactly. Go. Because there you go. I see videos, and it's 20, 30 little niggas, yeah. and big side defense. Look, they, they, two they. Of them niggas is from the section. And they since day one. Those ain't all homies. Oh, they all niggas yeah. from other spots. A lot yeah, of those are uh, the collective rappers do that. LA. Rappers do that. Certain little yeah, areas who ain't, who ain't solid. Gang. They have a whole bunch of people, and you think they're from the area. That's that's just, that's just how they do it. Like, this game might I'd not be that deep. I've been confused with video shoots. Like right. I said, I ain't never had no problem with him until he came at me. But I ain't never hopped in on the camera. I've been a few of his video shoots, but I ain't no camera nigga. Like yeah. even the homies from A Trey, I've been on most of their shit. I ain't never been on camera. You feel me? But I, I I was all for Big Side, but this, the way he doing it, you destroying the community. Yeah, I was uh, I got a call, cause you know I didn't know the dude. They were like, "Yo, whack man, um, the A Trade gangster, something." And I said, "Bro, the last time I got a call from my A Trade gangster, <laughs> it was an individual. I don't know where he's at. Uh, he was living in New Mexico. The house caught on fire." And he lost one of his children, if not both of them, in the fire. Yeah. So somebody called me, and I didn't I didn't know the dude was on the three-way. I say, so what's needed? He said, yo, bro, they lost everything. Boom, 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 boom. 
<clears throat> dude and them show like 2000, they trying to like just get a hotel room so they figure it out. So I sent to 2000. So about six months later, the a trade dude called me. Said, bro, I know you don't know me, but I'm the one you sent the money to for the New Mexico thing, right? So I say that to say this. No, all my a trade gangsters out there, when that dude called Wack from Bacoima Paul Rue about the a trade gangster who lost all that shit and lost his kids, I didn't hold it against him that he was from a trade gangster. So I don't know what the little dude's saying, but um, I just know how to read, bro. That's it. Yeah, that was in response to this shit right there? Yeah, I, yeah, the, yeah. I guess he was running real tough. I don't know. Because I, yeah. I don't know the yeah, dude. I like, I don't know him. I guess he was running real tough with the A-Trey card. So, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, just like I could uh, assist when in that situation, this situation, bro, the paperwork is the paperwork. And people say, whack. Well, why are you reading the paperwork? I'm going to tell you why. It's a lot of niggas, and you been in them feds, and I done been to the state. Well, the persona of this person, right, <clears throat> will make you believe that he's something he's not. Now, imagine the person that's about to do a deal with this dude mm. on some other shit. Imagine what we did for him. Yo, man, you heard what Wagner ain't, wasn't you? Hold on, where's that? Oh, shit. And that just happened with one of the homies from Compton Crip. Mm. He said, Wag. This name, boom, boom, boom. They tell me some time back. I said, yeah, we ran work on dude. He said, man, this dude trying to get me. I said, here go to work. He said, "You sa this is a week ago. You saved me. So what about those dudes? Yeah, yeah, those yeah, dudes yeah. is in the dark and been to do some shit and might fuck around and find out they got a Mexican cousin named Rico because yeah. this nigga got <laughs> a motherfucking uh, uh, antenna in his medallion. What about those dudes? I think those dudes really appreciate the shit. Yeah. Hey, now man. look, the exposures ain't here. We ain't telling you gonna do nothing to the nigga. Yeah. We ain't telling you stop listening to his music. Right. We're just making you aware, right, of what you're dealing with and Chin check yeah. and, the, Make it and the other OG. No harm to come to Southport. Yeah. <laughs> I wish him the other best. OG is simply saying their logo doesn't stand behind that. It may be a few individuals. And it's only individuals. Right? Let's, but not the logo. West is a collective. He is all bad. Just stay narrow. And right. overall, West LA. Mm -hmm. And that's Mansfield, Playboys, yeah, West Boulevard, like Marvin. Homies is good. All that. This Marvin's is G yeah. homie Show from line, the Show lines. 30, Letting it be known, them. like, he is no good, you feel me? And we got cats, man, Compton. Well, see, the whole thing is, it's so fucked up when a motherfucker, and I've been out a decade, bro. Still ain't acclimated. I've yeah, been out no 25. Motherfucker, and that's a beautiful thing. Boy, know boy. how to appreciate freedom, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but my thing is, man, a motherfucker has to stay connected to the motherfucker you went to the child hall with. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what real. we do. You know what I'm saying? That's There's real. hundreds of us that stay in contact till this day, bro. And niggas don't want to say nothing to the little niggas, but these is our sons, our nephews, and all this old shit. Mm -hmm. Can't be scared of them niggas. Nigga, you wrong, you wrong. We don't exactly, want nothing, nothing to happen to the homie. You know what I'm saying? The little nigga know the man's feels. He grew up over there on Pico with him. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, that, that confusion right there is internal, bro. He know what nigga, contract the man's son. Listen, man, the, 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 the man's feels, man, was cold hustlers getting their money. Motherfuckers they was Mansfield's hustlers before they was Mansfield gangster crips. Motherfuckers forced their hand. That's a fact. Mm. Exactly. So why would you force motherfuckers from getting money to turn to bullshit? So this is why probably the homie called me up, man. Yeah, woo, woo, woo. But yeah, we trying to do something big with West L.A. because the county and the city got $35 billion for us, bro. They passing it out through these nonprofits, but they giving it to the status quo. NAACP, they ain't did shit for us. You know yeah, I, don't, I ain't never seen them people. Yeah, exactly. you feel what I'm saying? So it's like That's we got to redirect this money to the communities, bro, to these hoods. Like he say, LLC the hood? Don't even fuck with LLC, uh, S corporate. You know what I'm saying? Way S corporate, C corporate, How whatever you want to do. But the thing is, man, we got to turn the direction. Like the boy need to just come on out and apologize, man, to the niggas that he didn't fool or shook him. Because mm -hmm. the shit is offensive and a lot of niggas is hurt by it. You know what I'm saying? Because they fuck with him. So I mean, bro, yeah, that. I mean, I, I can hear the apology. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't first know what they got to do, but I don't. No, it, the no, apology do should be me. like this, bro. You ain't got to apologize. You know, me. no, it should be like, yo, man, I'm big sad. I'm, I'm big sad to rat. 
And I'm sorry for misleading y'all. And I got my new song dropping. For those of my followers, please follow me and stream my music. <laughs> to my homies, yeah. to my friends that I grew yeah. up with, my friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah right? Yeah, yeah. If y'all want to fuck with me, I really appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I stop by for Thanksgiving dinners, your little daughters and shit, birthday parties, and be cool. Yeah. But all the tough acting shit, the dissing yeah. real niggas. You can't diss the family, man. That's yeah, out. You can't diss the family. You can't ever, that's out. Yeah, you can't do it. So that's the whole thing. You can't, can't act tough. Can't but right right when we all together as a card, as a. How long, so how long y'all been moving as a unit in, in West LA? I was gone, man. For yeah. me, for me, '96 so, it was over. The 2000, I attribute all, everything after that to hip hop. I don't know nothing else. Mm. Got you. What you mean all together? So, it, it, anybody? Like, it's, 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 it's fine. Nah, it be on and know, off. You know all that shit be. Type of shit. Right. Like, like even us at the PPG, but everything good. Uh, even to the point where we branched out to start messing with other gangsters, like down to the shotguns, the eight trays, to a point we bridge one whole collective, the Avalons. <laughs> like, we party now. Like, yeah. we all. Are y'all never functioned like that before? Hell no. no. Nigga, yeah. we do, all did our shit. Now it's like, you know, we you don't, nigga, don't act like. Day. First of all, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Stop acting like the East Side wouldn't say all the West Side niggas. And then with the homies, I'll never forget. i never forget I, I, where that nigga was from. And he told, um, it might have been somebody from y'all neighborhood. He said, nigga, you niggas are only Crips in Beverly Hills. That nigga yeah. went crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My mother didn't like that. They ain't like that. Yeah. Nigga yeah. went crazy, yeah. right? Yeah. So it was always, yeah. so even though it was gangsters on the east side and gangsters over there, like he said, they wasn't, they didn't come together yeah. to where now they oh, yeah. all pulling up and they partying together. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, that was a great thing for y'all. Yeah, like I said, Boy. from outside looking in, <laughs> we're always looking at like they all, they all together, so that's why. That shit would have been crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga be with the world. Bro, but no, I'm imagining it, right? Yeah. If all that shit would have been like that, that whole neighborhood card, then not just the, the old card, now you got the east side, the coast yeah. card, yeah. that yeah. shit would have been crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Nuts. But then we got niggas like Sideboy doing shit like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Division. Well, he's a yeah, sad guy. Yeah. And that's all money won, homie, is to bring the collective together, bro. Yeah, he went out sad, man. Uh, Dude went out sad, bro. Well, you know what, man? It's redemption because I'm a, to his credit, I had three com and I and I remember all three conversations, and they was all positive. And it seemed like he was looking for direction, homie. You know what I'm saying? And I could see that because it comes a point when you don't have the information. You may be at this level, but... You just can't break through. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't have the right motherfucker around you, you going you know what I'm saying? And that's where you're at right now because of the disrespect. You know, but like I said, nigga don't want nothing bad to happen to the nigga, but you can't be taking the face of the logo and dragging them up and down the alley. That's why I'm glad you said, he say, Playboy, then I seen you niggas rewind that shit. I said, ah, they finna expose a nigga. <laughs> I'm glad y'all came hey, on here though. Nigga. I'm glad y'all came on here though because, like nah, you said, nah, yeah, we, a lot man. of people don't be knowing because I said the persona go far. Yeah, because yeah, oh, yeah. I don't do oh, this yeah. camera stuff, but nah, how, I mean, how he may just shit niggas ten toes down for niggas in jail for this shit. How he made it just look like suckers, like. Hey, hey, my homies ain't gonna tell like I do. Yeah, that nigga like, did. So he said, oh, he said, you niggas ain't gonna do shit. My homies ain't gonna on, do shit. Come on, he was you niggas over there go yeah, do man, nothing. Come on. Four, I was just over yeah. there with 14 up. All right, all right. Yeah. They ain't know this shit. Sound, you know what I'm saying? Good. The, if the homies like, say keep that shit under wraps, you gotta respect that. But we got a homegirl puppet, man. They uh made set it off or they base it off or set it off. Homegirl Puff had been down since 94. So she I was believe. Queen Latifah. There you go. And uh <laughs> that nigga ain't shot her out not one time. You know what I'm saying? We got niggas in the cemetery, bro. Ain't it, it, it? So no, don't don't rep the logo, bro. Do your career and leave the logo alone. If it's 1900, let it be 1900. P boy, rest in peace, man. Yeah, but they ain't Period. going for that. Hold on, you got to stop saying that, man. It's over. Because <laughs> no, bro, it was a nice run. <laughs> no, bro. It was a nice hold run. on, bro. You got a young um, era. Who hip that hop. 1900 shit means something? Hip that ain't hip. That's 1900 hip ain't hip hop to you. What is it? Nah, it, it's to me. It's, it's representation of your block. You that's me. that's to What's me that? though. That's not my air. That's yeah. nigga. Your old ass wasn't <laughs> claiming nineteen hundred. <laughs> Man would never. And see the nineteen. Matter of fact, what was it when you started? What was it when you started? For real, because it probably was. It was Trey. It was. It always been the Trey. The Trey. That's, that's it. it. So the nineteen hundred. You don't understand it. It dissolves the Trey. 
Oh, so you sideways set tripping too, though. No, ain't no set tripping. So you want the trade it's back. Over. Mm-hmm. Close the curtain. You want the trade back. And let us do our documentary. So you want it. You <laughs> want the trade back. Let us. Let Hold us on, no, bro. Everybody. You said you want the trade back. No, no, no. The trade no, no, never, no, no. never went nowhere. Ain't never went nowhere. Ain't never went Niggas, nowhere. Man, listen, but the man. 1900 is watering that down. No, the 1900 is hip hop, homie. Yeah. I wish the homie nothing but no, the No, 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 no. Everybody that said 1900. Ain't hip hop niggas. He ain't no hip hop nigga. I ain't no listen, 1900. Listen, I don't, like many, that, I don't never be on no 1900. I just know that. What? Just so know you telling me this nigga just white. claiming some shit? Let me ask you something, white. Just, Let me ask you something, me. white. How many guys can you serve? One. Which one is going to be? Leave the logo alone. We old niggas, bro. So we trying to on. do documentaries, man. We trying to build workshops. Give us a mechanic Hold on, shot. bro. Hold on, Every bro. Every rapper, give, give their hood a mechanic shot. 1900 so we can do never been nothing we bang. Trade. He using oh. that for address, yeah. It's that an was, address. That was, that was, that so he's address. trying to create address. that. He trying to, yeah. So okay. don't diminish well, that's history. That's address of the set. That's don't diminish history. My little homeboy, Ronnie Red, doing that right now. So that's not that's not a click. They ain't a block. That ain't no click. That's hip-hop. Oh, no. That's what you're saying. That's right. That's a misunderstanding. Earlier we said block. I thought you were saying that's one of y'all sections. I thought that was a representation of y'all section. right, right. So 1900 is a hip hop click. Yeah, that's, that's oh, okay. all big size. There y'all that's have label. My little oh. old boy Grimey Red, I said be a thing, right? When we grew up, you did sometimes some of my older homies, our projects, we called them the Noms, right? So now that he come with the Pakistan, right? And somebody mm-hmm. said it, and I sound like you. I said, man, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like, don't, why don't just say Pequena? Uh, yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. Cuban Rob say, whack. That's their new thing. You know what I'm saying? So we was 12,700, I guess they 12,900 Pakistan, right? Mm-hmm. But you know what? It got to start somewhere. If it take there it, take go. it, but don't there it, don't. So go. now we just got to the bottom that Big Sad 1900 is not a representation of what Playboy is. That's mm-hmm. the hip hop click. Exactly. Bingo. Of that. There you go. Oh, shit. There you go. Well, maybe he's a hip hop snitch. <laughs> yeah. See, all my, my nigga from Playboy that went crazy on me. See, I was not talking about Playboys. I was talking about Big Sad. Is the nigga named Big Sad? Big Sad. Like big sad. He's, a, that's, that's he's the first sad? Yeah. Okay. 1900, which is the hip hop click. You had no right to go crazy on me like that. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you. He didn't go crazy on me, though. Huh? He just blocked me on Instagram. No, not him. The other dude. You remember the dude? He went crazy. Y'all was a... telling me I still ain't seen yeah, him. Yeah, but. Gotta get his name. Yeah. He went crazy on me. Yeah, but yeah, he ended yeah. up calling me. He got my number and called me. Oh, and yeah. it was like, you know what, Whack? I was out of line. I don't even know what's going on. So I let him hear what, what, what it was. He was like, What's no, his name? I can't remember. The nigga went and know it's online. He went crazy. <laughs> he had his shirt off. He was like, nigga, this whoop, 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 nigga. You all in PBG, bitches, nigga. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I said, damn, nigga, I ain't said nothing about PBG. Nigga, and you wrong, because I said Big Sad 1900, which technically right. ain't PBG. Hey, thank you, bro. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Clarify. I baby. get it. Clarify. I get there it now. There you go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh shit, yeah, we locked in oh, now, man. Yo, look, man. Appreciate six hundred, man. man. Um, we got Super Bowl weekend. I'm just gonna tell a lot of y'all. Um, I don't know if you're gonna hear this before or after. Do not get caught up with the we outside. It's 25 additional agents on the floor. It's triple the prostitutes, triple the stick-up kids, and they got these scanning machines they trying man, out. you going to scare everybody from going to Vegas, <laughs> No, no. I'm doing like we exposing. That's I'm right. telling them. That's right. Right? Don't get caught up in, if you're going to Vegas, know where you're going, know your designated area. You Don't go out there no bullshit, bro, because they out there. They've been out there the last two, three weeks. Um, feds. Regular police, all kind of shit. You know, they got more prostitutes out there, which is more stings and more HIV. You know, some of you niggas going to go back with some, with a package, right? So I suggest you take sand to the beach, okay? I'm just being real. So <laughs> know where you going. Me personally, yeah, I'm going to hang out with old loose Ken. Bro, the dude Yael. What's up with him? Have you noticed he hasn't mentioned the reality show? <laughs> Did you know that the dude Yael is on the reality show? 
What reality show? The show? The He's on loose the, the be on? Uh Baddies in the Beast. February 14th, Baddies in the Beast on Urban Urban Flicks. Listen, I seen it today. You know why he ain't mentioned the reality show? What? He got his ass whooped by a sub nigga named Claw or something from East Coast. <laughs> oh, Beat shit. his ass. I'm talking about with the hole, with the giving it to him. Yeah. Now they'll take off with the nigga with the two 1990 uh, uh, old school arthritis jabs, right? <laughs> this other nigga turn around and Yael has not, he still, even though it's the shit, the big you shit, he ain't mentioned that nigga, you in the reality show. Damn. So he ain't even trying to promote it. He got whooped on. He don't want niggas to see you got beat yeah, up. Yeah, we got content. But at the end of the day, uh, Big Sad, listen, your homies, your section, they wish you the best of luck. That's right. They don't like the fact that you, um, you, um, going against the section. It's another click over there too. I just met. What's them crazy niggas' name? Bust a fool, bust Blast on a blaster fool. Blaster fool. Listen, <clears throat> y'all name. <clears throat> that's some some crazy shit. And I'm gonna tell y'all, and I think all y'all should consider this. To my niggas from Blaster Fool, and I just I'm sending an attorney down there for the homie. Scandal. Scandal. When y'all go to jail. It should be a thing for blaster food for the homies. That they should be able to say, that ain't where we from. Because, nigga, I would hate to be in front of a jury or a judge. <laughs> and they got a picture up of a nigga with eight holes in him. And my gang is called blaster food. <laughs> Them niggas... Yo, I met, it's, it's like 20 of them little niggas I met at my studio, and one nigga just did 23 years. I thought he was fucking with me. They like your name, nigga. That's some gangster shit. Where you from? Blast of food. They gangsters? Blast of food, gangster crib? Yeah. Nigga, hey, listen, the nigga already telling you ain't no fight, nigga. So any nigga want to squabble with these niggas talking about they were scared to fight? That's on your dumb ass. They just told you what it was. Say so they shoot that. You, you ever, you ever met them? Yo, it's a, it was Mexican. Mexicans, females. <laughs> nigga, I walked in my studio, bro. All the games like that now, though. They all yeah, make yeah but I, I had, yeah. I had, see, you know what? <laughs> hey, bro, maybe it's happening to me. Because it's never been a time where I didn't know every gang. Yeah, yeah. I've been on 25 years. It's happening. Yeah, it's that time. It's that time. <laughs> it's that time. I ain't even mad at this shit. It's happening. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yo, man, I got. Nigga, you ever did security? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You oh, okay. Was, you yeah. might need to Jack get his information. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, and that nigga moved the crowd, man. I was, oh, man. No, when I came humble. home, he was bringing homie. Yeah, he, he the humble. first I like one that. invited me to a function. Well, homie was full of motherfuckers, man, from every section. I was some good shit. You it's know earthquake. what I mean? You that, that shit got diminished, huh? man. There's yeah. an earthquake going on right oh, now. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's Adam punk ass trying to sabotage the show. <laughs> Fuck you, Adam. Come on, you know, bro. the earthquake. Is, you, I ain't going to even yeah. say nothing. He got hydraulics under the building. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah he probably yeah. do. That's Nympho, so though, freaky, man. dinky motherfucker. He like, man, y'all time day, up. He like, listen, man, y'all time up. Um, Adam, we got your, uh, I got to get the Vegas. I got to go get the oil change and get the Vegas. I want to duck the oil change. I'm, I'm huh? too much traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm flying. You what? I'm flying. I'm going to tell it's you why I don't be tripping. I don't be tripping driving because I be like, uh, the, the G Wagon, they got enough lit where I could put the phone right there. Oh, yeah. And I could just look at my girl. She do all kind of shit for oh, me. Yeah. She masturbate for me, crazy <laughs> and shit. So I don't give a fuck about how long it takes yeah. me to get to it. You know what I'm nigga saying? Nigga busy, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, See that nigga busy. Listen, nigga, don't let this be our last time. Oh, that's no, right, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, bro. Man. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate man. Appreciate that's right, right, bro. Nigga. Always love yeah. T Money, me and T Money. Man. Go back listen, to 12 man. years old. I used to fight Crips. Yeah. Four T money with him. <laughs> Swear to God, Juvenile Hall, one six three five, uh, one six three four two Filbert Street, Seal Mar. That nigga T money come in. wasn't a lot of Mansfield. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the nigga bang his shit, and I seen fight six seven niggas after like his third time. I said I like this nigga. Yeah, I just yeah. jumped yeah. up. He didn't ask me. Yeah. I just jumped up, start fighting with that's that nigga. That's how I go. You know. And what ever I'm since then, uh, you know, we've been tight. That's thirty five years. 
Now, how you supposed to go money. against that? I ain't going against you, feel what I'm you saying? You better not know, nigga. I don't give a fuck where you from, <laughs> what flag you got. That's if right. T Money with me, you better let him be. That's, That's right. Fact. Me That's and right. Baby Looney used to, um, back, you remember back right. in the days, the boys' clubs in every section? Yeah. Yeah. They was summertime, they were sitting the kids. So it was just, it was like Camp Clear Creek or Camp Gilmore or some There's shit. Section, and me and Baby Looney was about nine, 10 years old, but we was banged out and shit. Mm. So everybody, when we used to get off the bus, we used to fight. So I got a lot of good history with Mansfield that started some one way and went that's somewhere. Right. And my man Dougie D, shout out to Dougie that's D, right. man, he was that's very right. um. And my man Kenji, that's right, Kato, that's, that's right. my man Kato. Man, Kato right. made a lot of money together, man. But nevertheless, I'm here with six hundred. Uh, my man, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, I ain't never gonna forget you. Shout out my nigga, donut from Mansfield. And, 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 right. and we got the OG. Yeah, free the homies, man. Free. Spike, we got the OG. Baby he walked Rock. in with this. He ain't walking with a blue bandana. You know he ain't saying? walking with no pistol. That's right. He walked in with some knowledge of what he's attempting to do uh, right. with this community. Revolution in progress. Oh, you. you know what I'm saying with That's this right. community. Appreciate you. Homie. You know what? That's crazy. You just woke me up. Mm-hmm. You just woke me up. The com it always was the community. Revolution in progress. In progress That's yeah, crip. Mm-hmm. You just Thank you, you just bro. there go, bro. Thank you, you just bro. woke sure. me up. Man, <laughs> we need to get back to <laughs> y'all, you know, y'all trying to get back to y'all roots. Hey, simple, bro. Real simple. I get it. I get it. We did the goofy shit. We, we had to go to, to the G code, man. I get you know it. I mean, appreciate yes, you, big homie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what? Hey, this was a great. A lot of people thought this wasn't a um, sabotage. This wasn't a sabotage yeah. or a bashing a dude. This was trying to get an understanding. And I got a great understanding. I thought 1900 was they shit. Right. That's a hip hop set. Um, I'm, I'm thinking a whole bunch That's of shit. Label, yeah, yeah, it's but, an organization. Do, do your thing, man. Listen, do man. Uh, Y'all do your thing. Uh, we gonna cap it with this because there's no reason free to shit. continue to go. I, I got a few shout outs. Free What's Four up? Leaf, Free X Four, Free Compton TG, Free Big Bo. X Four. So you was part of the play. <laughs> nah, you was part of the play. Well, hey, listen, man. Hold on. I'm just playing. Before, before we get too far into it, <laughs> I'm si I signed X Four. I can't control all his, his stuff. Is he, he signed for you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's yeah. Right. I mean, look, I, I generally like the kid. Oh, yeah, yeah. Free Doc Holiday, man. Goddamn. How long is too long? Damn, how long yeah. he been gone? I've been hearing that name for a long man. time. How long he been gone? 87, um. Look, I'm going to tell you how long I've been hearing that name. Um, as long as, and this going to fuck you up. As long as I've been hearing strawberry. <laughs> OG, I'm going to fuck a lot of you young niggas yeah, up. Yeah. OG, Hoover family. Yeah. Also known as Rolling 20 Neighborhood Bloods. He Am I right? He killed you know this family nigga that been around, right? Come on, man. Fucking strawberry. Did you, you ever heard of Hoover family? Nah. Yeah, that's a G homie. That's what it was before it was NHB 20s. He doing I'm homework first. on the section, man. Yeah, Any I did man time with these. Wack me doing this thing. <laughs> Wack me doing this thing on that. Hey, we out. And shout out to sure. my nigga KK West Boulevard. The realest right. nigga that be on Clubhouse. Straight up. Crack Star 2800. Get your shit together. We out. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, baby.